Welcome to the, the, the 80s uh, DVD, well, no, it would be VCR show. You know, we sent out these deep, these uh, VCR tapes, and uh, these this is one of the subscriptions. Or, I mean, one of the, the people that, uh, you know, gave us the... Go ahead and roll the clip. Yeah, my name is Jerry Lewis. I like to take waffles and put them in the toaster, and then whenever they pop out... I like to grab them and I put them on the table and I put peanut butter on one of them and I spread it. And then I put jelly on the other and I spread it. And then I like to smoosh them together like a good old sandwich, but with waffles. And I make them make love and I put them in a bed and that bed is there. And the bed is like, uh, y'all are laying on me. But we're, we're, we're just like third party people, you and me, you know. I want you to be the peanut butter to my jelly. Hit me up, 864-539-5454. Peace. Yep, and that's the, that's the end of the video. Um, go ahead and call that number if you're not calling the police or anything. Bye-bye, everybody. Man, you ugly. Really, little man? Yeah, man. You ugly. Really, really ugly. You talk to me like that again, and I swear. Huh? I what? will lick. Really? All. Wow. Over. Oh. Them big. Ooh. Hairy. Ooh. Nipples. I'm listening. And then, guess what? What? I'm gonna bend that thing over. Ooh. I'm gonna kiss down that cheekbone. Yeah. And I'm gonna lick Ooh. down your chest. What? Down to your little chick legs. Oh, heck yeah. And then I'm gonna give you a big old smooch. Where at, Papa? First, uh -huh. I'm gonna play peekaboo with them thighs before Ooh. I slither my head in between Ooh. them legs Ooh. to the back of the Ooh. knees. Ooh. Boy. Ooh. Yeah, you like that? You like that, you dirty little boy? Man, you know I can't like it, cause you're my cousin. It's Christmas! It's Christmas, it's Christmas! Mommy! Daddy! Wake up! It's Christmas! Come on, you guys! It's... Mommy? Daddy? Where are you guys? Oh, ho, ho, ho. they're down here, Noah. Everyone's opening presents. Come open, come, come join us. Huh? Daddy, was that you? How swell it is to see you. Have you been a good boy this year, Noah? Yeah, I think so. Where's my mommy and daddy? You said they were down here opening presents. Oh, but they are, Noah. Don't you see all these presents your parents went to the store and bought for you? Yeah, but I... There doesn't seem to be any room for poor old Saint Nick to place his presents. Wouldn't you agree? Well, no. I think there's plenty of room. Oh, plenty of room. Plenty of room, you say? Where? Next to all the tablets? PS5s? Hmm? You know, toy making used to be simple back in the day. You take some wood, you take some nails, and you made whatever the f***. Nobody cared about lead poisoning back then. Uh... But you god millennials and your Gen Zs always need the latest iPhone, so your parents go out and buy it for you, knowing well that you're using it 95% of the time on the toilet, liking videos, posting memes. So it leaves me very little room to provide you presents. So go ahead and open up the one present I got for you, Noah. It's the one over there with the actual ball. You know, because I don't buy it from the Store. Okay, Santa. M Mommy. Daddy. <laughs> no! 
Welcome to the dating game. Alright, alright, alright. Keep your hands to yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. I got one question for these fine, fine young ladies over here sitting to the right of me. Question number one. Do you like pickles? Uh, no. I hate pickles. You suck. Uh, contestant number two. Me love the pickles. Oh, no. Me breathe the pickles. No. Me need the no, pickles. No, you don't. You do not. No. No. Uh, Up next, contestant number three. Me wacky the pickles. Uh, 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 Feed them uh, to me, puppy. Uh, Feed you nothing. Show's over. Time to go home, people. Welcome to Gino's Pizza! Just pizza! How may I take your order, sir? I'd like to have a double fish sandwich. Hold the ketchup with tater tots, please. Oh, sorry, sir! We only sell pizza! Would you like oh, to try uh, some cheese uh, steaks? Oh, then can I get a number eight with a water and extra cheese, please? Alright, so I got you down for a number eight with a water and extra cheese. Will that be all for you, sir? Oh, let me also get a, a chili cheese doggy. Sir, we don't sell hot dogs either. But if you really want a hot dog, I can take you around back. You can pull down them pants and open up them sweet buns and then bam you got yourself a nice little juicy hot dog oh you're you're giving me some real good choices oh i'll me? take six of them mm, i ain't gay so a number eight yep in a side of i'm gonna mm-hmm oh hi there i didn't know we were recording today you caught me at a bad time but that's okay. I'm Steve, and welcome to Blue's Clues. Bow, bow, bow. Hey there, Blue. What kind of mystery do you have for us to solve today? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that I had some guests over. This shouldn't take too long. Bear with me. Now, SpongeBob, what did I tell you about talking while I'm recording? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't understand you. Let me go ahead and remove this tape for you. Ow! Oh god, oh god! You said not to disturb me while you're recording! But please, Steve, let me go! I won't tell nobody, just let me go, please! Shh, 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 shh. There, there, SpongeBob. No need to cry. I shall show you mercy today. Oh, thank you, Steve! You won't regret it at all! <laughs> <laughs> SHUT THE F*** UP! Anyways, where was I? Ah, yes. Do you guys see any clues around here? You're right. Let's go check out the kitchen. Bow, bow, bow. Ah, there's a clue, and it seems to have a note on it. Let's read it. For the final test, use this knife to release Blue from all of his sins. Bow, bow, bow. I have been waiting for this moment all of my life. Come here, Blue. We are so proud of you, Steven. Through great trials and tribulations, you have reached enlightenment. As promised, we shall pass you to the next plane of existence, but you must provide us a new host for the show that shares the same bloodline as you. The only person in my family that I can think of that deserves this type of hell is my cousin Joe, so I choose him to be my replacement. Very well. Oh, what the hell? What? Where am I? Steve, is that you? Peace out, bitch. My name's Tyrone Tiberius Jr. the second. What you looking for, dog? 
I'm looking for Barney. Have you seen him? Oh, for real? I've been looking for that dude, too. This is a whole debacle. Hey, guys, guess what I found? Oh, this is great. Let's wake him up and go on an adventure. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> oh, hello there, kids. It's me, Barney. Hey, Barney. Uh, do you guys want to go on an adventure? Heck yeah, Barney. That's exactly what we've been waiting for. Well, I'm sure glad to hear that. I have the perfect place for us to visit, and the cost is real cheap. What's the cost to get there, Barney? Oh, it's just the low, low cost of your soul. So let's go ahead and sing along to this fancy new tune I just whipped up, kids. Oh, I'm Barney. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We all know Bush. Did I it? Everyone, everyone, wait, wait, wait. Timmy, why are you not singing? Man, I just don't feel like it, Barney. Everyone must sing, Timmy. I know. I just not in the mood. My dad just died. Oh, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Where we're going, well, I promise you, you're going to see your dad once again. Uh, Barney, you're starting to scare me. Fear has no place here, Timmy. Soon you will be consumed by darkness. Don't worry, though. I will be there to guide you. It'll be blissful. The passing. <laughs> Calm down, my child. Barney is here to help you. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me? Great! That's exactly what I was trying to get out of you, you son of a bitch. All right, now everybody repeat after me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My soul's never gonna make it to heaven. Man, I really like being in high school. You guys like to go to the shake shop later? Or, you know, get some smoothies? Pump some iron! Rangers, there's a dude out in the city and he's doing stuff. He's he's very, very diabolical. You guys need to get out there and, and do some stuff, kick his ass, whatever you guys want to do. We're on our way, Zordon. Yeah, I'm in the monster, I'm the guy the stuff, and I'm, I'm doing stuff in the city, yeah! Huh, there he is. All right, guys, it's more, 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 more. It's more, more, more. It's more, 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 more. It's more, 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 more. It's more, more, more. It's more, more. It's more. It's more. It's more. It's more, 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 more. It's more. It's more. It's more. Jesus Christ, Jason, go ahead and get it out. It's morphin' time. It's not that hard to say. Shut up. I was gonna say it. I was gonna say it. I'm the Red Ranger. I'm the leader. I say, I say when if it's morphin' time. Dragon Zord. Hey, yo, nigga, it's Mastodon. Pterodactyl! Mmm, Triceratops. Konnichiwa! Trianesis. Tri. Trianne. Trianne. Hey Arnold, do you ever think about how if the Earth stood still for just one second, we would all die? Honestly, yeah. There's just something about how... Arnold! Yeah, Grandpa! Arnold! What, Grandpa? Arnold! I'll be right back. Let me go see what this man wants. Arnold! Arnold! 
Okay, Grandpa, I'm here. What did you need? Come closer, Arnold. I want to see that giant football-shaped head of yours. What's this all about, Grandpa? Closer. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close already, Grandpa. Closer. Closer. Why do you have all the lights turned off? I don't think I have much more time on this earth, Arnold. It seems that the hands of my life clock have reached their last tick. Before I pass, I only have one thing I want to do, Arnold. Oh man, Grandpa. That's pretty heavy. What is it that you need? I'll do anything for you. I... I... <coughs> <laughs> oh no, Grandpa, please don't die. I... I want you to milk me. You... You want me to do what? I want you to milk me like a cow on a cool summer morning. Here, let me take my shirt off. I don't know, Grandpa. Wait, are those udders? Please, Arnold. This is the last thing I need before I fade into nothingness. <coughs> Do it for Grandpa. <sighs> okay, Grandpa. I'll milk you. Ooh, yippee, yippee. Now, be a good lad and get that bucket there from the corner. All right. Oh, yes. That's it right there. Go ahead and pet me. Make me feel good, Arnold. Does that feel good? Moo. Dee Dee, get out of my laboratory! What are you there, Fuman? I told you to get out of here! If you are going to stay, it is imperative that you do not touch anything! Ooh. What does this button do? Diddy, don't do it, you dumb f***ing piece of f***ing! I told you not to touch anything! Do you have any idea what you have just done? I don't know. Dexter, why don't you tell me? Well, you know, I didn't think you were going to ask me that, honestly. What? What is this? This, Dexter, is my dinner. Now, Dee Dee, we've talked about this. Dinner. Dinner. Computer, stop my actions now! Oh, no, no, no. The computer is not listening to your cries for help. Only that of my stomach growling ever so loudly for you, brother. No, 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 no! Oh, yeah! No! Why, Dee Why? Why? You are eating my insides! No! No, 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 no! Why, Dee Dee? Yup, and that's what's gonna happen the next time you go down to your laboratory and crank up my electric bill to $5,000. Seriously, what are you doing down there? I get that you're a boy genius, you got your own laboratory, whoop de fucking do, but who's making the fucking the money in the house to pay these bills? Not me. You better make some kind of machine that makes some money, cause uh, I ain't paying this god bill again, okay? Today, we are proud to give this Pulitzer Award to a fine, outstanding man of science. You may know him as the former boy genius. Please help me welcome to the stand, Mr. Jim Neutron.
Hello. I really have no words to say other than thank you for this marvelous award. I would also like to thank my mom for birthing me. I know my head is gigantic and absolutely destroyed that thing she used to call a vagina. I know that is part of the reason dad left, I do not blame you though. He was a drinker and left with a bit of fury after he attempted to drown me. But I persevered and continued my work despite my newfound disability. I loathe in the fact that he is somewhere in Mexico with his new family not knowing that his firstborn has been awarded one of the highest honors. I am happy that I was given the gift of love by my childhood crush Cindy. Although she left me some years ago because the money dried up after she used it all on gambling while I supported her because she was not working the whole time we were married and took my house, car, and even my underwear that I later found out she sold on eBay for more money than I pay in a year to alimony to her. I also want to thank all you who I went to school with that said things like, oh that dude has a big ass head, or, giant head ass. It hurt my feelings also when they decided to chase me into a bathroom and painted my face with makeup and called me bitch with a big ass head for weeks. Despite my past, I still choose the happiness in all this. This award means to me what it must have felt like for God to spite me to this chair for life challenging me and my discoveries. If you do not mind I would like to give you all a presentation that I feel displays my gratitude for not only this award but also how some of you have chosen to treat me all these years. Please Goddard. Bark, bark. Activate special poop poop pee pee time. <laughs> Thank you and good night.